What's going on guys? My name is Noah Gordon and this is Broken Arrow Bison. Subscribe if you're not already, hit that bell icon and leave a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. So this is Waya. Waya is a Cherokee word for wolf. A lot of us have a little bit of a hard time saying that, so he might get called wolf or Waya. We'll see. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about buffalo fence. What does it look to control buffalo and what's the best theory behind it? Well, everybody's got a different mentality. Everybody's got a different take on it, um, which they're not all bad. There's a lot of good opinions out there. And I just wanna share my opinion. Now, my opinion on controlling buffalo is electric fence, high tensile fence. When I first got into buffalo seven years ago, a gentleman at my church who used to run cattle and he farmed organically for years, he also ran a commercial fence company for 25 years. He heard I was starting my buffalo herd and he told me that he was gonna show up Monday and show me how to set up my fence. Well, he showed up Monday and we went over the plans and what it was gonna look like, what it, all the materials is what it was gonna take. And he stopped in the middle of what he was saying and he looked at me and he said, I'm gonna do this on one condition. And I didn't ask him to come out there, so I thought it was kind of funny. And I said, well, sure. I said, uh, what's the condition? And he said, you have to be able to teach this to someone else. And I immediately said yes. Um, and he ended up being a really cool mentor to me. Um, showed me how to set up a fence in a proper way, be able to not have um, the maintenance and problems that you would normally have uh, elsewhere. Um, but he was just a really cool guy. His name was Johnny Adams and he was just a really cool guy. He passed away, fought in Vietnam, and uh, he was just a tremendous um, mentor. So what we're going to do in the weeks to come is I want to show you guys what it looks like to set up a buffalo high tensile fence, electrified. The high tensile fence was first made popular in New Zealand. They have a lot of history with trying to control animals in a smaller area, duplicating what the herds would do in nature. New Zealand has taken and done a lot of the research already for us, and they figured out a lot of the uh, kinks in the system. So I wanna show you how to, how to do it, how to um, set up a fence that would be able to control cattle, um, buffalo, sheep, cows, goats, um, a lot of the large livestock it really, really works well. It's a fence that's really easy to put in. It's a fence that's low maintenance, and it really has a lot of good uh, control measures. And it's really not that expensive. Um, compared to a barbed wire, you're about the same cost, if not a little cheaper on the larger side of things. So stay tuned for the weeks to come, and thanks for watching the video.